The Admiral's principal responsibility is to ensure the readiness of the battle group to conduct combat operations. It's as simple as that, and his staff assist him in doing that. Now, this is where the staff would eat. There would be two meals a day, two sittings at night, one at 1700, one at 1800. You would sign up in the morning for which of the two seatings in the evening you would like to have. Now, the galley you'll see is fairly small over here, but we had wonderful, wonderful food. The Admiral, you'd usually get his selection of which cooks would travel around with him, which stewards would travel around with him, so he always had the best. We're in the war room now. This is where the operational planning and the operational tasking orders were prepared and sent out to the Admiral's subordinate warfare commanders. In here was where the initial planning was done for the hostage rescue mission in Iran. This is also where the operational planning was done every day for Desert Storm. Rear Admiral March was the battle group commander in Desert Storm. He had four carriers underneath him. He would prepare the operational tasking orders from here. He would receive orders from Central Command. They would then divide up those tasking orders and assign them individually to each of the other four carriers. We're in TFCC now. This is the Admiral's Battle Management Execution Room. This is manned 24 hours a day whenever we're at sea. It's manned by a Battle Watch commander. The status board in the back of the room shows most of the ships that were assigned to the Admiral at that time. Another column up there is the call sign of each particular ship. Midway's at the top, its call sign is Schoolboy. That name stays with the ship for its entire life. So if anybody wanted to call the Midway on uh, any of the radio circuits, they would always use the word Schoolboy. The NTDS, or Navy Tactical Data System, was the Navy's first computerized command and control system. Its purpose is to share information amongst all ships in the battle group or the battle force, such that each one of them has a coherent, integrated picture of the entire battle space. Now, NTDS uses symbology to portray different types of targets, if you will. We have the different types of symbols, friendly, unknown, and hostile. Friendly aircraft, friendly surface ships, friendly subsurface ships, unknowns aircraft, unknown surface ship, unknown subsurface. This is the Battle Watch Commander Station. He will serve a watch here every four hours and then shift to another member of the Admiral Staff. Sometimes there is an assistant battle watch commander sitting in the chair next to him. That is for times in which there's a lot of action. Say the first night of Desert Storm, there would have been two people here, the battle watch commander and assistant. Most of the time, if you're in transit going from point A to point B, nothing's going on. There is just the battle watch commander here. That completes our tour of the TFCC.